I guess I put a lot of faith in the emergence of altruistic behaviors at different scales. And let me just give you an example of, of coming back to our earlier discussion about uh, exploring our, our world. Um, if you go down to the bottom of the ocean, as I've been fortunate enough to, to do uh, in a Russian submersible, and to see these hydrothermal vents, these, these hot springs at the bottom of the ocean that are, that are spewing out gases and minerals that microbes love to chew on. Down at depth, you cannot do photosynthesis. And so the microbes, the base of the food chain, are doing chemoautotrophy. They're, they're eating some of the gases and rocks that, that come out of the, the hydrothermal vents. And the ecosystems down there, which have zoarcid fish and tube worms and crabs and mussels and, and uh, all sorts of, of um, larger organisms and shrimp, those organisms have developed symbioses with various microbes. And those microbes work to detoxify some of the, the waters. Uh, the Riftia tube worms have got these uh, microbes that help clean out the sulfur in the water and the, the shrimp wear these little backpacks of, of microbes that help protect them from um, toxins in the water. And so down there, you see that Darwinian evolution is not just about survival of the fittest and um, predator and prey. You see it's also about mergers and acquisitions. It's about developing partnerships. It's about symbioses. And that selection effect that you can see directly around hydrothermal vents has gone over all parts of our tree of life. Our own you know, mitochondria and ribosomes, the, the organelles within our cells, once upon a time were independent microbes that then through a process of mergers and acquisitions led to the comp complex cells that we now depend on. And so that's altruism. That's symbiosis. That is a, a form of kind of Darwinian altruism where it's like we can get more done together through that, that mergers and, and acquisitions and partnership process. And here we are now with a civilization of seven, I forget what our latest population number is, but let's call it seven billion. We are a global civilization of seven billion people and we are teetering on the precipice of stability and instability but we have gotten here through altruism and symbioses manifest in our various forms of government our various partnerships our various collective agreements and yeah on the short-term time scale we're in a turbulent period on a longer-term time scale i'm optimistic we will uh we'll make it through